now we've got our, our crank all cleaned up and we have a new connecting rod and what I want to demonstrate today is the use of a product called plastic gauge and what this will allow us to do is to figure out what the clearance is between the inside of the connecting rod here and the crank journal there has to be enough clearance there for oil to be able to get in there and lubricate uh, it's also known as oil clearance and it's important to use the right oil um, that will be thin enough or thick enough to flow into that area and lubricate this as it spins around using oil that's too thick that doesn't get into this space here uh, will obviously not do any good because this part needs to be lubricated um, this is from a snowblower engine this is an HSK 70 Tecumseh and being a snowblower engine I like to use 5W30 because it'll start off as a 30 weight oil and then as it warms up it becomes uh, excuse me it starts off acting like a 5 weight oil and then as it warms up to operating temperature it becomes a 30 weight oil and that's uh, that's what I would recommend for winter use lawn mowers in the summertime that don't see cold weather can just use standard 30 weight oil that stays 30 weight right from the beginning so to use plastic gauge I'm going to uh, place a connecting rod there plastic gauge is actually a thin piece of plastic in this case green and I'm going to cut off a piece like so and set it in on top of the crank journal and hopefully it'll stay put and then we take the the rest of our connecting rod and we have to be careful not to move the parts because what's going to happen is we want this to squish down inside and we want to crank this at the, uh, the appropriate torque as it's going to be inside the engine in this case 210 inch pounds Alright, and now that it's been torqued down to the right torque, now we take it off. And you'll see that the uh, the plastic gauge was squashed and the paper that the plastic gauge came in has readings on the side here in millimeters and on this side inches now I know that the clearance for this connecting rod should be 
0.002 inches. So I find that on here. And we compare it to the plastic gauge. And we see it's right on. So the clearance for this particular connecting rod and crank journal are good to go and we can move forward with putting this engine back together. So there you have it. Plastic gauge. It comes in three different uh, sizes that I'm aware of. This is the smallest MPG1 which is the green. So thanks for watching.